gospel is an announcement of the kingdom of God. It means the victory has been accomplished. We are restored to God. He now reigns in our midst. Good tidings in your ears. So the phrase gospel refers to what the Messiah accomplished. Now he reigns. He is not going to reign at the end. He is reigning now in the earth. The gospel is the message of the reign of Jesus today amongst men. So when we go into all the world to preach, we are not saying when you die, you will go to one place. That's not the gospel. But that's what most people preach. Heaven at last. We pray that you make it at last. That after all this life, may we arrive there. That's the exact opposite of the gospel. The gospel is there. It's now here. Your God reigns now. They that receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness shall reign where? In life. When? Now. Not at last. Heaven at last is a contradiction to the gospel of Christ. May we make it at last. It's an insult to the work of redemption. It's an abuse of the gospel. So he says, all authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. Which is what the gospel means. It's been given to me. Go therefore, go in the strength of my finished work and announce the victory that I have obtained. Don't go and talk about what I will do. There is nothing more I will do. It has been done. Go and preach the gospel is to say, God has come to dwell amongst men now. That's the gospel. Heaven has come. In other words, God has come to dwell in our midst now. You know, one day the disciples were looking for when heaven will come. They were looking for the arrival of heaven. Jesus said to them, the kingdom does not come by observation, but the kingdom is among you. Heaven has arrived. Heaven is here now. We are not going to heaven someday. We are not going. We are there. The gospel is heaven is here now. Zion is here now. The kingdom of God is available now. And out of Zion, the kingdom goes all over the earth. What's the gospel again? Heaven and earth have come together in Jesus Christ. The gospel is that heaven and earth has been amalgamated in a person. The gospel is the reality of the amalgamation of heaven and earth in Christ. The reality of the union of heaven and earth in Christ right now. So he says go into all the world and announce that reality. Announce that heaven and earth has become a reality now in the person of Christ.